Welcome back gamers, it's Mom Bricks, and I am here with another LEGO Speed Build and Review. Today we're looking at LEGO set number 40701, The Ballerina and the Nutcracker. This set was a gift with purchase in December of 2024. You had to spend a minimum of 150 US dollars to get it, and it comes with 244 pieces and says it's for ages 9 and up. It also comes with 10 stickers, eight of which are for the windows and two are for the sides of the stage. There are five bags total with Lego bricks and number four being the smallest of them all. Disclaimer, however, this set was a gift to me and I didn't have to spend any of my hard earned adult money to get it. I would have though, I would have, had I not just bought a huge set for someone's Christmas present. As seems to be par for course when putting together the smaller sets, this one took me about 30 minutes to build, and once again, I only messed up a couple of times during the entire process, but you didn't see that because I cut it out. Once started, it came together rather quickly, and I liked the way the stage looked. I feel it packs enough detail to make it interesting and be cohesive with the theme. I also think the stars and the moon stickers make a really pretty backdrop. The small gold tassels add a nice touch to the red stage curtains, which to be honest, were truly the only wobbly bits that I noticed due to the build technique used. And along with the tree and presents, the wreaths on each side of the stage also add a festive feel to the whole piece. I didn't realize at first that the micro minifig was meant to be a nutcracker, however. While in a color I haven't seen yet in my very limited experience, it makes me want to get out my magnifying glasses and minifigure paint and make a few slight modifications, which is apparently the greatest of Lego sins next to using glue on them. The ballerina moves from side to side by way of a very simple lever thingy, and while the action is very smooth and, dare I say, satisfying, I kind of wish that she could turn in circles, you know, a pirouette, like the little ballerina music boxes that 75% of little girls had in their rooms at some point. The set also includes three transparent light blue opalescent one by one studs, one on the Christmas tree and two rounded ones on the stage, which are set slightly off center and I'm being very brave and very strong and not making them even and mirrored. Final thoughts? Yes, I have them. I like this set. It was cute. It was fun. It was free. And the end result was very satisfying to see. I think I could totally make this work in my winter village. Thanks for stopping in again, and let me know down in the comments if you've ever modified your Lego sets by gluing them or painting them. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. This has been me, Mom Bricks. Check out these photos of the final build.